it is like every costume designer's dream to get to do Pride and Prejudice, right? There's a bazillion costumes and it's beautiful tops and beautiful skirts and shawls and bonnets and shoes. It's a great time period. It's about uh, the Bennett family and the mother's sort of uh, trials and tribulations and the daughter's trials and tribulations trying to find ideal husbands, as it were. And then, of course, there's the overarching of, like, you know, Elizabeth and Darcy and whether they fall in love and they hate each other and they love each other and they hate each other and they love each other. The show is really about the proper feeling of the time, of how structured everything was and how formal everything was. And for me, a lot of it is really Elizabeth's independence in this very structured world that she has to behave in. Hers are a, a little not as formal ever, as everyone else's is because she's free and she's got a whole idea. We're dealing with sort of like tight coats and, and you know, proper, proper shoes and, and that sort of thing. It, it kind of lifts the body up and sort of gives, for my character, sort of, again, like a heightened sort of posture. And there's definitely something that happens that you may not even be able to verbalize that the second you put on an outfit that is as true to the period as possible, something happens and you just get outside of your head and you feel more freedom. I'm sure with like Linda, the director, I really live their life and think of their backstory and why would they wear this and how would they wear these clothes and um, I totally feel like I get into each character and that's my job. <laughs> I'm surprised at how funny it is and uh, how relatable it is, like there are still relationships, mothers and daughters, husbands and wives, and uh, it's funny to see the, the things that have changed, but also how much has not changed. I think it's lovely and sweet and comedic. Like, there's a way more comedy than I actually anticipated. Anybody who's a fan of the, the, the sort of Downton Abbey kind of milieu, and you know, Jane Austen has been around for hundreds of years now, and we keep coming back to these stories because they have something, they hold something. I hope they get to see a slice of what life was like in 1812, and I think this show gives such a good um, perspective of that and the morality and how you had to behave. I mean, we're so polar opposite of that right now that I think it's great to go back and see where we came from.